Number We're ready two. to get this one underway as the team to line up for the opening kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. California's coaching staff, they know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kirk. They had a crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate for the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. We'll see if all that pressure pays off one thing we know for sure they want to get the football into the hands of this receiver early and often if they want to win this game from their own 22 yard line second down a quarterback in the gun with five receivers gets it he's in space and he's tackled around the 47 yard line Good looking play there. I think they did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. Three down, three down. Mike 35, Mike 35. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made at the 41. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Ready! Black, what up? He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down at the 40. Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. They'll go to the ground, and they're not going to make it. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tackle around the 49 yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. up in the backfield. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper. A loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 46-yard line, second down. Pick up two on the pass play. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. three-yard line. And he's taken down at the 15-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. And he's 
hit immediately. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third. And here's another third down. Blue 14! Blue 14! He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. UCLA is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. UCLA's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Got him in the screenplay. And he shoved out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Call it a game of 14 yards. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Three down, three down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Ready! Under heavy pressure. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. Let's go! Green 95! Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Three down, three down. 35 is the mic. Come on! 50! Come on! Throws a laser across the middle. They get about four yards on the pass, and they'll pick up the first down. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. And they make the stop at the 27. From the 27-yard line, it's second down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Out of bounds, the 26 yard line. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 3 0 Bruins. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Nice run, and he's brought down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. right around the 24-yard line. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. Well, the offense looked like they wanted to bounce the ball to the outside. But this defense just has too much speed. They did a good job of shutting off the edge and preventing the ball carrier from getting to the first down. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. That makes it first and ten. 
UCLA is up by three. And they'll get him in the backfield. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. That brings up second and 13. From their own 46 yard line, second down. He lost the ball. And the defense is on it. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover ball. They need to hold on to the football. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's scrambling. Here's an opening, and he's leveled at the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. Quick out to his receiver, and he tackles him hard at the 15. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Come on! First and 10, ball on the 15. Ready! Red 68! Makes it to the 12 yard line. That makes it second and six. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Yeah. Wide receiver screenplay. About five yards that time on the throw. You gotta love the screen pass. Pretty good blocking in front, and it netted some decent yards. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. California is down three and looking to tie it up. The kick is up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Nice run there. for a nice game. He kept it himself and picked up about six yards. Two times, two times. The halfback with a carry, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Team. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Oh, 
Oh, excellent punt. This punch bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all sides. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Wideout makes the first down catch. And he is drilled at the 39. From their own 39-yard line, first down. He's knocked out of bounds around the 41-yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. He's at the 40, and they push him out at the 38-yard line. That's a gain of 21 on the play. First down. From the 38-yard line, first down. Let's go! There's a strike complete. He's down. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. On the ball! On the ball! On the ball! Just throws this one away. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Mike 35. Been a long day for you. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Oh, that was a big conversion. You could just see the other team's offense itching to get back on the field. surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So our score, 10-3. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. Knocked out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The Bruins will use their first time out of the half.
Quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 39 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 39 yard line. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Wants to go long and does. It's broken up. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second half offense. 10-3, Golden Bears. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Neither ground game very productive in that first half, David, and I really think it came down to each player on the defensive side executing their assignments and trying to get the positive self-determination that they wanted from a defense. No doubt about it. And you look at the defense is doing such a great job stopping the run. That's the first thing that you do 99% of the time in meetings is what are we going to do first? Stop the run. Because that's usually the place where you can get gashed the most. It's the simplest. Quarterbacks don't have to go back and make reads. It's designed. You know what they're going to do. But it also comes down to the big boys up front and those big boys making holes. And right now, I don't see many holes. And I don't care if you have Barry Sanders. I don't care if you have the best running back of all time, whoever it is in your backfield. If there's not a hole, there's no yards to be made. There's nothing they can do. So the defensive line doing a great job stuffing the run. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. California's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. He might have a chance. He gets to about the 34-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to come up with a sack. That is a loss of two yards. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he's taken down at the 33 yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. It's away and it's a booming punt. And he's tackled at the 21-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. California is up seven. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 33. Call it a gain of 12 yards. From their own 33-yard line, it's first down. instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. 
it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 40. He's out of bounds at the 15-yard line. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Steps out of bounds at the 17-yard line. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. catch and he's got room here and he shoved out of bounds around the 27 yard line and they make the stop at the 29 that's a gain of two on the play that brings up second and nine Slings it. He's got an opening. That's a great tackle at the 35. Number 90 makes the tackle at the 35-yard line. Third down. Brought down at the 46. Gets it, he's in space. He's tackled right around the 34. From the 34 yard line, first down. Screen pass, he's got his half back. Tackle at the 34 yard line. Number three he tackles him for a loss at the 34-yard line. That makes it second and ten. He heaves it deep. Players in there, got it. Touchdown. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. So that's an eight play, 86 yard drive. And they get it in for seven. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of center. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. There's a fumble. The defense scoops it. And down he goes at the 27. The running back won't be happy that he lost the ball. He's got to forget about it and get ready for the next series. His offense is going to need him again. really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. 
They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short gain. Had his hands on it and dropped it. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. left the running backs got it tackled for a loss that'll be a two-yard loss pretty good stand there they weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call UCLA is looking to go up by three it has the distance and he got it They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on 34. UCLA is up by three. And he's tackled right away. And he throws it away. From the 23 yard line. Second down. Possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Touchdown, UCLA! This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. Tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. And he throws it away. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Easy, easy, easy. Big dog. Pressure coming. And he tackles him hard at the 17. So at the end of three, UCLA leads it 20 to 10.
Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He's going to air it long. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. That makes it fourth and long. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Tackle at the 40-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's at the 40. He's taken down at the 33. strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down around the 28-yard line. Pretty nice pick up here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. That brings him second and five. Throws a bullet over the middle. tackled at about the 15-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Got some open field. Tackle made at the one. Touchdown, Bruins. He makes the PAT, a six-play, 60-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So our score, 27-10. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 31. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. As a man, he'll lose big yards. like they're going to go for it on fourth down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Fires up to his receiver. And he's level at the 37-yard line. Number seven. Man, the at the 37-yard line. Get up, get up. Ready. That makes it first and ten. Red, 68. Quick strike, and he drops it. Can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. From their own 37-yard line, second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Fires across the middle, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. That'll bring up third and two.
So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Wide out makes the first down catch, and he's taken down at the 43-yard line. First down. There's a strike complete. What a play. Knocked out of bounds, and that's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They line up in the jumbo set. Let's go! Red 68! Hut hut! Red hut! Touchdown, Cal! This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. He splits the uprights with the extra point. put up 24 unanswered points. One team can't do anything wrong. The other team can't do anything right. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. They hand it off. Good open field tackle, and he gets a yard on the run. From the 41-yard line, it's second down. He is drilled at the 39. A yard, maybe two on the carry. I'm telling you, every yard you gain is earned, and those were about as tough as they come. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 30, and they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. From the 27-yard line, first down. to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, one sec. Blue 14. Blue 14. Hey. They'll get him for a loss. That is a loss of four yards. That, that makes, makes it third, third and 15. 15. They'll line it up again on third down. Let's go, D. Mike one, Mike one. Down, Oklahoma. Hut. Hut. He throws it. They can't bring him down, and he's in. That could have been it right there. That score might be the deciding factor of this football game. And he converts the extra point. UCLA to kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Here we go! Blue 
Throws it deep. Tackle around the 23-yard line. He's up to 300 yards passing. This young man really works at it, and it's always a boost to see that hard work reflected in the box score. He should be very pleased. And it's not too often you get a game like this from your quarterback, but it doesn't matter because these guys are still losing in the game. From the 23-yard line, second down. He fires. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A short three-play, 75-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. So the hands team does their job, and the onside is not successful. When people talk about special teams winning football games, they're usually talking about blocking kicks and big returns. But the onside return team can be just as important. And right now, these guys may have sealed the deal with that recovery. More fun and points than Kirk and I expected. 34-24, UCLA. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Well, this was shaping up to be a really close game, but they did what they had to do, made some big plays, and were able to pull away. UCLA had a really tough matchup coming in, but they were prepared, motivated, and came away with a really solid win. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.